Let's watch this. Which tank deserves Thunder Fury and Season of Discovery? Thunder Fury. Oh shit. Let me let me change my account back. I had to uh, do this for Kaiser. Boom. Oh shit. Thunder Fury, the Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. The singular most iconic weapon in all a classic WoW and the target of many classes. Hey guys, sure. Ebon Sauce here. Once the most coveted weapon of all warriors and the occasional rogue, Thunder Fury is now standing on a precipice of insanity if I dare say it. For no longer is warrior prior a thing, for there are reasons why someone could justify taking this glorious weapon. But there are three ways to break this down. Option 1. Will Thunder Fury be changed to just be a slightly stronger version, aka a stat buff? Option 2. Will it completely be remade, thus changing which of the four classes initially- Dude, what if there's like two choices? You could go mega tank or actually DPS and like DPS are gonna drool all over? Actually, this might cause too much drama. Yeah. Yeah, Hunters can are gonna, use it best I or option know, three. Man. Will they buff it into a whole new kind of weapon but increase the class limit on it? And what do these three options mean for you? Warrior number four and paladin number three in your respective guilds. Do you guys still have a chance to get it? Or will the greedy hunters and rogues claim prior on this beautiful, tantalizing and amazing weapon? Yet ignoring all of that, do hunters even deserve Thunder Fury? No. Even if they somehow make it to phase four or phase five with no more nerfs and just buffs. Should hunters be given the honor no. of this beautiful weapon? Some of you may say yes, no. some of you may say no, and some of you may say it's not fucking hunter prio. And to that I say, you are all correct. If it's the top DPS class by a large margin, some guilds may perchance grace their hunters with this iconic weapon. But for the most part, nah. I don't care how OP hunters are, I will die before I give a single hunter a thunder fury. And it's a hill Dang. I will rest upon. And don't get me wrong, I all the hunters I know are great people. It is just out of principle. As Lord Farquaad enlightened us all. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. And I know it's going to be a very detailed breakdown of why hunters deserve this weapon the most. With math, calculus, quantum physics, and whatnot proving the hunters getting this will give them a 274% <laughs> damage boost. Don't care, be mad, next. That only covers one of the many pretenders claiming to deserve Thunder Fury more than all the other classes. So let's That's move on to the typing. next one. Paladin. For the longest time, if you even tried to give a Paladin Thunder Fury, your entire guild loot council would laugh you out of the Discord call. Because as tragic as it was, in classic Paladins, were not like Arthas or Uther. They were nothing but sad huss for anything that wasn't Holy Paladin and the one token rep player who cosplayed as a Giga Chad. But now, oh, in Season of Discovery, sure. Paladins are actually not just attempting to cosplay heroic figures, they are getting close to simulating. Your Paladin tank with his consecration, his holy powers and more is actually quite legitimately a serious contender for Thunder Fury. They have every reason why they now- I, I think prop Pallies, yeah, they can aim for Thunder Fury. I think so. I, I think the prio is warrior and then prop paladin probably. Uh, rogues having it is kind of a meme in my opinion, but there's a rogue tank now, and you can argue and say rogues can get it. Um, in my guild, well, we were ten men running, and I thought it would stay this way, but they increased it twenty, so we had to merge, and now we have a uh, a warlock tank and a Parat warrior tanking. I did tell Yasa to push for rogue tanking if he can, but he's open to do it still. Yeah, I promised him I'd give him Thunder Fury, but he's not tanking, and I feel like this might cause a problem, man. He has to tank in level 60 or something, man. He has to. Or I can't bend it to give it to him. He has to tank. Or a lot of people are going to have a problem with that actually deserve it regardless of which of the three initial options the SOD dev team chooses to do. They can walk a line of true heroism, of actually being able to finally sit at the table that was once dominated by 39 warriors in a singular rogue. Which brings us on to the next person who must be discussed. Rogues. Sneaky, conniving, bastardized caricatures who make playing on the PvP server cancer. The PV rogues are actually cool. It's the PvPers who are the problem. If only their parents loved them more so they didn't continue the cycle of generational trauma. These no Gnome Damn, and Forsaken Rogues were created pay, by yo. the previous generation of Gnome and Forsaken Rogues who camped in grief. Yet, I am not here to rant about Rogues. I am here okay. to debate their worthiness of wielding Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. 
And rogues are now not just worth it for more than just memes. Rogue tanks are a genuine thing, which means they have a legitimate yes. claim for this weapon. And yes, rogue tanks aren't great. They're a viable option regardless and are fully capable of main tanking all content, even if it's... I'm gonna have a hot take chat. I don't think rogue tank's bad. I've done rogue tanking in BFD and Nomer. I haven't done Sunken Temple because I started doing just pug runs. Um... I don't think it's bad. I think just people just like to play meta or OP. If it's not doing number one damage, it's not good. Like I think it works. It works. It's not terrible in my opinion. Albeit badly. So a rogue tank has the potential of not just using Thunder Fury to its maximum extent, but to genuinely dominate with it, perhaps even making them the number one tank. Though it does genuinely depend on which option the dev team goes with. But personally, the only rogue who deserves it is Shobek, because I want to see more clips of him role playing whilst clapping people's cheeks. But this time with Thunder what the but moving on, heck? we are now onto the final class, and the class that wants to dominate the entire conversation, because they were the only class that could use this weapon genuinely. And that is Warriors. Once the undisputed kings of tanking and pretty much the only viable main tank option for most of classic. Decked out in their plate, having prior on every and anything, running amok and being able to do whatever they want. Like a school bully out of an 80s flip. Taking everyone's lunch money or in this case loot because in quotation marks, it's bis. Close quotation marks. And they honestly, as much as it pains me to admit it, deserved it at the time when the deepest options of a classic were so heavily and disproportionately in their favor. But that's the problem after all this time. They are not not the undisputed kings anymore. Not on damage, not on tanking, not on anything really. At least not on Season of Discovery, and at least not in this phase at the moment. And don't get me wrong, Warrior is still objectively great and very strong, they're just not the dominating king. Now perhaps with level 60 and new runes and new items, they will go back to being the very top, claiming their throne of loot and corpses. But will they? Because as it stands right now, my Warrior boys are being pushed to the wayside. Like Andy in Toy Story, the classic player base isn't vibing with Warrior Warriors anymore, which brings us to the interact. Are we playing the same game? Warriors fine, man. Oh, what? Dude, Warriors are upset at everything, man. Who I amongst swear the Warriors four original classes right deserve now. Thunder Fury the most? And to that, my good friends, there are two options. The first one is obvious. Your main tank that shows up all the time. It's a no-brainer. You give it to the person that's going to keep raiding after Wait, is, they get Is this an old video or new? Much one month ago. Tired of them. Because amongst all four classes, who has the most claim to this ancient weapon? And look, that look at that damage meter right there, dude. All four classes. Ready? Who has <laughs> This is no my god, that's a warrior. Top damage right there. The most claim to this ancient weapon. And that answer is everyone except hunters. Now I could pick one class and give you my opinion, and I think it's Warriors because I used the main one. But as it stands, all three current tanks that can utilize the weapon all deserve it equally. Though Warriors and Rogue tanks are much worse than Paladins, at least as of now. Now though, that we've answered the first half of the equation, it's time for us to dive into the second part. What if they increase the amount of classes they can use Thunder Fury? What if Shamans, Warlocks and Druids could use Thunder Fury? What if Melee Hunter unlocks a tank spec? I still wouldn't give it to a Hunter. But the other three give a whole new look at the class that deserves Thunder Fury. It changes the math, it changes the lore and gameplay. A warlock tank wielding Thunder Fury would be an amazing- I think instead of doing that, it would be cooler if they just add in maybe a new legendary for another class, you know? I think that could be cool. So people don't fight over Thunder Fury. Sight. It would be like a shittier version of Illidan and the Warblades. A Shaman would be like Thrall, except instead of a massive hammer or bullshit, a Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. And then Bears, the red-headed stepchild of tanks in Season of Discovery. So much potential, but just not there yet. Bears wielding Thunder Fury would be, in my personal opinion, amazing, tantalizing, phenomenal, and aggrand. If you're watching this, I'll slide you $10 if you let Bears be able to equip Thunder Fury. That's dumb. I, I can't. Like, you're not even gonna see the weapon on the bear. Hello? Not there yet. Bears wielding Thunder Fury would be, in my personal opinion, amazing, tantalizing, phenomenal, and aggrand. If you're watching this, I'll slide you $10 if you let bears be able to equip Thunder Fury. Not because I'm a bear main or a druid main, just because I think it would be healthy for the game. No ulterior motives at all. Yet, between the OG4 or the new 7, which is kind of like some anime villain arc, who deserves Thunder Fury? And thus, I leave Chat, it to all think? of you. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments. Who do you think deserves Thunder Fury? Subscribe or don't. May the devs watch over us. Thank you for watching. Eben Hard out. Who deserves Thunder Fury, man?
I think it goes to the most loyal guild member that puts an effort and time to tanking. I think that's the best one. Open roll it. I, I would open roll it to be honest, but it just takes a lot of, you know, a lot of gold. And I think your guild bank has to support it, right? Because you need a lot of mats to do that. 